Hey everybody. I know I don't do this uh, very often, but uh, I wanted to let people on my page <clears throat> see what I do. And not only that, I wanted to discuss something that just happened this morning. So I had a client and, uh, you know, they've been on diets and they've exercise they're probably in their 40s maybe early 50s and they've done everything you know, they've been exercising they've been dieting uh, they both uh, seem to be in okay shape but they have great big wide tummies and with colonics and you see my machine over here so doing colonics and also working with diet with people I've come to find over almost 20 years of doing this work that what can happen is people are t are are eating good diets they're doing all these things but they have a bug and one of the things I want to talk about right now is something called H. pylori. So H. pylori is a bacteria. It's not a fungus, although candida quite often lives with it. But H. pylori manifests with a lot of things. The number one thing will usually be um, a kind of a gastritis feeling and a lot of pain behind the sternum. It also manifests for me as the colon therapist, as a client that is so full of gas that I can get nothing out of them. And they will tell me they rarely have bowel movements. They maybe only have a bowel movement once every other day. And I will usually be starting to get curious here if we've got an H. pylori bacteria problem. So this is what happened to my client today. And this man <clears throat> has been having lots of problems. He's got lots of body pain. Um, some of the side effects also of H. pylori if it's in the body long enough because it will not go away from diet. If you change your diet, and even if you're doing everything right in your life, but you still have these, these uh, gastrointestinal issues, it's usually a bug. Now, a, a regular type allopathic doctor would give somebody uh, something like Prevacid, something to break up that acid, because that's what they think it is, it's just acid. But what they're not discussing is this root cause. Again, it's called H pylori. In the late 80s, the big discovery was that they discovered that this particular bacteria uh, was what was creating ulcers. So this was the big discovery, but they didn't really understand that it's usually a causal factor also with SIBO, which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So this particular bug can live on the esophageal area all the way down to the stomach. And you know, some of the studies are, depending what you find on the internet, but most of them agree that left untreated, left an entire life, a person can end up with either colon cancer, esophageal cancer, etc. So it never goes away on its own. And I just want to say very quickly that most allopathic doctors will deal with it with antibiotics. And if you guys understand antibiotics, it's like, it's like having a huge bomb that you're sending over into the body. You're bombing the body. And when you bomb the body to kill H. pylori, you're also killing everything else. So you're going to kill all that good flora and all the good stuff as well. So as a naturopathic uh, doctor, as a person that's doing this kind of work that I do as a practitioner, not a doctor, I am a, a CNC. I'm also a national board certified colon therapist, and I'm also... Um, a functional, an FDN, which is a functional diagnostic nutritionist, which means I can do lab testing. And when I work with people, if they test positive for H. pylori, I don't want to give them an antibiotic. I want to restore that gut. Because most of the time, I have to just say, in my experience, bugs live together. I've never seen H. pylori alone. I've always seen it with yeast. I've seen it with other issues. So if you take an antibiotic to kill H. pylori and six weeks later it comes roaring back, it's the terrain. That means that the ground, the terrain of your gut is what's out of whack. And if you take antibiotics to kill a bug and you wipe out everything else, then the bad bugs will start taking over. And this is not something that can be fixed just by popping some probiotics, right? So you, you need to kill the bugs. You need to restore the gut. So in the future, I'll probably get more into this uh, again, but um, again, there are natural antimicrobials to kill H. pylori, and sometimes it can get complicated because there's other issues with people, but I want to say to encourage people that if you've had gut problems all your life and you've never been tested for H. pylori, please go to your doctor, or I prefer stool. There's three ways. Basically, you can do a breath test, you can do blood test, and you can do stool. Now, I use BioHealth Labs, and I like to do a stool test, which is uh, particularly for BioHealth, they take three separate stool samples, whereas a lot of the health coverage type uh, stool uh, samples <clears throat> for H. pylori will only take one. And then they're taking, uh, the testing is off only the one stool sample. Now, some of my clients were not seeing the H. pylori until the third sample. So um, depending 
on what you have also going on. Now, I like to use stool because a lot of times blastocystis shows up with it. So blasto is a really common bug. And blasto and H. pylori and, and yeast like to all live together. But this is just after years of doing the work I do. So anyway, I'm just going to start doing some videos, you guys, so that you can start uh, seeing the work that I do and why I do what I do. I'm going to also be having a YouTube channel where I'm going to be putting a lot of this information up. And um, I wish you all a very happy day today. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.